Hey there, Aries. How are you? Aries, I want to thank you so much for your time, your love, your support, your positivity, the good vibes. And I give it all right back to you as always. Aries, let's go ahead and talk about your uh, your love message here for the second 10 days of October uh, <laughs> of 2021. Okay. So this message will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a cross watcher, someone who's dealing with an Aries. Okay. If the messages do not resonate, please don't force it. What are the what are the energies surrounding Aries for love for October 11th through 20th or roughly around that time? What are the messages for Aries? All right. Yeah, one more shuffle. Okay. Okay, Aries. All right. So listen, Aries, under the deck, we have passion. Okay. I know it's kind of reversed, but you'll see, you know, it's passion. Okay. So I definitely feel like whoever you're connecting with during this time, um, there's a lot of strong feelings. Um, and not just emotionally, but as well as like physically. Okay. Um, huge attraction. Um, the way that you show y'all's interest in one another, I feel is very, very physical. Okay. Um, now it doesn't necessarily have to mean that that's all y'all do. That's not what I'm saying, but when it's done, you know, it's, it's passionate. <laughs> all right. Now we also have captured, we have seduction and we have secrets. Okay. So Aries, this person, I feel like this person that you're connecting with, I definitely feel like this probably is somebody that you're not, y'all, maybe each other, y'all both don't really claim each other yet. Aries, you or, or this person, like, or I feel like more so it's this person. I feel like this person may already be involved. That's why they're caged up, but they've captured your heart, right? This person may already be involved and and it's like you're their secret, right? Like you are the third party here, could be possibly, okay? Or Aries, if you want to take it another way, this is the person that you're connecting with may have a third party situation going on. But I don't really feel it that way. I feel it more so, I feel it more strongly that it's you. Um, you're like the third party situation. And you may not even know, and that could be the secret as well. Now, we also have karmic ties. Love story and hope. Okay. This does actually make me feel like some of you could actually know that you're the third party in the situation. Um, and, you know, uh, the way they're with love story here, the way that they're talking to you, the way that they're telling you stuff, the way that you're falling in love, the way that you're falling in love with this person makes me believe that there's a lot of hope here that, um, you can make the tie that you have with this person, you know, more secure. Uh, this person doesn't feel like they're all the way yours. All right. This person, it, to me, it really much, it really very much so feels like they really belong to another. Okay. But for some reason, um, you know, they're connecting with you and it could just be because of course, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It could be because, you know, they sense more excitement with you. And I'm not saying that there isn't a connection because this person, there is feelings here that this person has, but they just, they have, they have other things in, in other places. Okay. Um, more secure things, more other responsibilities. Oh man. We're going to pull some tarot here. So we got seduction and love story, like kind of right on top of each other, right under each other. So what I'm feeling here is that I do feel like this person kind of um, sells you a dream, feeds you a dream, tells you what you want to hear or whatever. Okay. Dang, I just can't get over this secrets. 
And it's just like, it's just this cage. Actually, this person is really hurting. This person in their current relationship that's not with you, they are miserable. And you are kind of like a, a glimmer of hope for them, you know? Like, I feel like they really do love you or they really do, at the very least, have very strong feelings for you, physically and emotionally, but... I'm, what I'm looking at is this cage and then this lock. So it's like, you know, they're already locked up. They're already, for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's married or maybe they're not fully divorced. All right, let's go ahead and get some tarot out on the table. Let's get one more shuffle. Okay, so under the deck, we've got the Page of Pentacles, all right? I feel like this person is giving you little hints or giving you signs that they do want to um, offer you something, offer stability with you. Like they do want to enter into like a secure union with you. Like that's what I feel like this energy is. But it's not a lot. They can't really offer a lot because, you know, they're still, like I said, they're still having to have this energy somewhere else, too. We've got the moon. We've got the three of uh, pentacles. And then we've got the nine of wands. Okay. So there's still... Um, there's still some some mystery here with this person. And I feel like you're attracted to that mystery as well, Aries. But there is some mystery here with this person. Um, but it's more than just mystery. It's, it's like really like things that they're hiding and that they're keeping and that they're, they're holding back. The Three of Pentacles, I do feel like y'all are having conversations about trying to work something out. Like this is person, they're, they're telling you, you know, Hey, you know, we can make it happen. We can do this, you know. But look at that. There's three people in this card. So it's like, okay, again, this is talking about just really someone trying to make some sort of love triangle work. And then we have this nine of wands energy. And I feel like this nine of wands energy is here because honestly, what I'm what I'm feeling like is I'm feeling like someone is saying, uh, well, I've come this far with this person. I'm going to try to see it through, even though, you know, they got some burdens or they come. I really feel like Aries, a lot of you know that you're in like you're involved with someone who is not completely over uh, their past situation. They still may be in it. Now, I'm not saying that everything is good in their relationship or in their marriage, but it's still their relationship and it's still their marriage and it's not over. OK, things are still, you know, coming to an end. I just get the feeling that yeah, if someone is trying to tell you or someone is telling you um, that they want to be with you and that they're leaving their other situation to be with you. Right. But it's like they don't necessarily tell you um, all the details about it. Um, because there's things that they're probably trying to work out and settle on the other side with the other person, whether that's, they're trying to finalize the divorce paperwork, they're trying to get, you know, child support stuff together. They're trying to, you know, or whatever, or hell, they could be even really like trying to work on their relationship with that other person. And they're just not telling you. And then I have you here, Aries, with this nine of wands energy. And it's just like, you're saying, well, you know, I'm going to stick by this person and, and, and I'm going to, it's like, I'm going to handle this burden with this person. It's like you want to be there to help them work it out. But it's like you can't really do that fully because there's still things that you don't know. OK, that's going on and that's happening. So let's go ahead and pull some advice.
Okay, that makes sense too. This knight, this knight of wands energy. I'm sorry, not dang knight of wands. Where did that come from? <laughs> this page of pentacles energy. Um, this is also you as well. I feel like this could be your energy of like saying, you know, I'm here. I'm here to offer some support. Like you want to be there. You want to be supportive. You just don't necessarily know how to. Um, but it's not your fault that you don't know how to because they're holding things back. They're keeping secrets. Mm. All right. What's your advice? Okay. So we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wedding. The situation involves a marriage. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. All right. Well, for what I can see, it does seem as though that this person definitely is trying to work themselves out of the current situation that they're in. Like this other like solid relationship. I feel like I feel like I feel like pretty soon they're going to be saying, oh, well, I got to make a trip or I got to go take a trip somewhere or I got to go do this. Why do you say? Well, it's really because they're um, trying to settle some things with that other person. All right. And whatever that means, whether they're trying to work on their relationship or they're trying to, you know, uh, divvy up things like, you know, whatever that means. Even if they really are breaking up, you know, they're trying to, you know, settle things and work things out, get things written down. Um, this person is taking time apart um, to do that. OK, so expect that to come up soon. Um, I also feel like in that situation, OK, that your uh, that your person is dealing with um i feel like it's hard for them to let them completely go because that person may be dealing with certain addictions or you know other codependency issues and things that come along with that okay so it's like they're they are karmically tied to that situation and they really don't want to be but at the same time you know they have found happiness with you um but I don't think that they're being completely open 100% about um, what's going on with the, you know, the other person in this triangle that they are, they're, they're, they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to move, they're trying to move away from that person emotionally, but responsibility wise, um, they still feel stuck. Okay. And yes, you are like their you are like the fire that's like getting them excited about love again and stuff. But I just don't think that they're telling you everything. I don't think that they are telling you, you know, the details of what you really need to know. And I feel like they're just kind of blindly leading you to have hope that y'all are going to be together sooner than you really think. Um, this is really heavy. Really heavy Aries. But let me know how this is working out in the comment box below, you guys. Um, I do want to thank you again so much for your time. Make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next message. Bye.